first flight. <laughs> so hopefully this works. Here, I have here my Habu and it's on the second day of flights <laughs> so it's successfully flown perhaps only 15 seconds and the special nose cone has been retrofitted to test a new radar so um, well each time the airplane loses power even though it has no power on it, it it will fall in a dive and it will guarantee to hit the nose so it does break the nose every time and gradually gets worse and worse. The trick is that I discovered, some people will say, you know, you, not, you gotta hold it by the back and, and gently throw it in the air, but the airplane doesn't have enough power, I discovered. After I, I tried to um, make it glide, it will always face fly. So I tried in the yard uh, to make it take off from the ground, and it wouldn't either because it does not have enough power. So what I figured is you actually shoot it like a paper airplane. And that's what I had the success with. So you actually uh, give it a good enough airspeed to be able to go somewhere. And put the motor on full throttle. And that's how it starts flying. So to start it up, we'll actually connect the battery, which is full now, to the airplane. And then the controller should be off. We're going to press the trainer button up and power it. And it says bind. And you basically wait till it uh, hopefully binds the controls to the airplane. There you go. So now I have the wings working. I have the rudder working. The engine sh the engine turns on only once you bring the uh, engine throttle back to zero, so that when the uh, controls are bound, they don't bind to the engine throttling up. One mistake I did originally was to uh, shoot the airplane, see it fall, and then let go of the throttle so it wouldn't crash in the ground. But as long as you have the throttle on the maximum, it's gonna fall a little bit and then come back up to a um, because the because the airspeed on the airplane keeps it going. So as I see, as I don't pull on the throttle, it will die. It actually flies really well, but. It's uh, very tricky to keep stable, especially as it's coming towards me. You have to get used to telling the direction of this thing. That was a nice flight. Yeah, and look at that. Happily, I didn't actually damage the uh, nose more. Yes. <laughs> so this noise is actually an, supposedly an automatic stabilization. And yeah, I, re I really like it. It's been a dream to be able to fly in uh, remote control airplanes in such a long time. And I do regret the nose breaking a lot. <laughs> but at the same time, I kind of suspected that I couldn't be perfect on the first times. So I'm just really happy that I could get started with this and hopefully move on to something that I can fly better. <laughs>